Okay. Colour changing. Um, you probably all already know you can just pause the printer, swap the filament out and continue printing with a different colour. Um, but a lot of the time that's quite sufficient. You don't really, a lot of the time you don't need a layer accuracy. Sometimes you do need a layer accuracy. Um, sometimes you want to change at an exact layer rather than just somewhere near. Um, with the stock printer and no Octoprint or Prontoface or anything, it's pretty much impossible to do that um, without a bit of help. For example, if we want to change the colour at the exact middle of this cube, the middle of the X on this line here, um, you can't really just watch the printer and stop it at that line because you won't know which, whether it is that line, it might be this line or this line. You've got no idea that it's that one until you get to the next one and it's, and it's going in the opposite direction, then it's too late. So if you want to do it on exactly on this line, then you need the printer to let you know when it's on that line. There's a very simple, easy way to do that. You can just tell the printer to make some bleeps um, to alert you that that line's started so you can pause the print. Uh, you could set it to do some bleeps on, say, a line down here and give you some warning that this line's coming up and then bleep again when it hits this line. Um, I'm not going to do that in this instance. There's no need on this cube. I'm just going to do it the once on the actual line. But just remember, you can put those tones in on any line you want as many times as you want. So you can put the tones in a couple of three layers back from the one that you're actually going to change on to to let you know that it's coming up and then have another bleep on the actual line that you want to pause on. So how do we do that? Well it's really quite simple it does involve editing the g-code but it's a very 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 simple process and I'm pretty sure everyone on the forum is capable of doing it. Um, the first thing you need to do is figure out what line that actually is. So you can just pull this preview down until you get to that line there. So that's 35. But it's not actually 35 because this preview in Cura starts at line 1 where the actual file, the G-code file that you send to your printer, starts at lines, uh, layer 0. So it's one less than whatever you've got shown on here. So it's, it's layer 34 that, that we're interested in. So we just need to remember layer 34 for the next step. So we're going to save this um, to downloads here. Um, that's the, the G-code saved. And now we're going to open up that G-code in a text editor. You need a plain text editor. Um, I think um, Notepad on Windows saves us plain text. Notepad++ certainly does. And there's several other free, free ones for all platforms. I'm on Linux, so I'm going to open it up in Kate. So we'll go to Downloads, Cube G-Code and open with Kate. This is my text editor. Um, I think this is quite similar to, to Notepad++, I'm not sure, but it's just a plain text editor, that's all it is, there's nothing special about it. Um, it does have a search, and most of them does have a search feature. Um, so we can go find, and we want layer 34, so we'll just type in layer colon 34 and that takes us straight to layer 34 here so this is the start of the layer and that's where we want to put the codes so I'm going to put a couple of blank lines in there 
Now what we need to do put in here is just some lines to tell it to make a bleep noise of some description. So that's M300 for a tone. S440 is the pitch of the tone and P300 is 300 milliseconds, so a third of a second. And then on the next line I'm going to do M300 S880, which is a higher pitch tone, and P300 again. And then I'm just going to copy those two lines to the clipboard and then paste them in again to repeat them. So that's going to play four tones, low pitch, high pitch, low pitch, high pitch, at the start of layer 34. And it's as simple as that. As I said, if you want to want a pre-warning before this is before this layer comes up, then you could put the same thing in at layer twenty-four, and then you would have ten layers before it before it got to here. You'd get some warning tones at layer twenty-four, and then you'd have ten layers before you get the tones again to tell you that's it. You've got to pause now. Um, I'm not going to do that in this case, so we're just going to hit pause directly on layer 34. So that's as much editing as you need to do. It's really very, very simple. I'll put this M30, this M300 codes I'll put in the description to the video so you can just copy and paste them straight into the um, G code unless you want to make your own little musical tune by changing the tones, the pitch. So we'll hit save, close that out, we're done with it and then it's just a case of transfer the cube G code onto the SD card and print it. So I'll do that now and then pick it up in a video of what's happening on the actual printer. Back shortly. Right, so we have the G code edited on the SD card. So we'll pop that in, go to print, select the file and print. Obviously this is going to take a while to print um, so I'll just speed up the video and jump to just before anything's going to happen and take it from there. And there we go. We made the tones, I hit pause. Another little tip, because we're going to change the filament, I'm just going to put a piece of paper over the top of it. 
I squeeze in through the gate, pull that filament out. Get the other filament and feed it in. Squeeze the gate, push it in. A piece of paper on top of the print is going to stop any filament that comes down sticking to the top of the print while I push this through and purge through to the new colour. That's us through to the purple. Take the piece of paper off, resume the print. It's now nicely printing in the new colour. Nice clean changeover I think. So I'll speed this up again until we get to the end of the cube. Just so you know it's I'm not cheating. This is the one that I took the photo of earlier. Um, which is purple to gold and the one that I'm doing now is gold to purple so you can see. There we have it. Oh. Slap bang in the middle. Exactly where I wanted it. So that's how you do it. Quite simple. colour changing on a specific layer with no fancy firmware and no octoprint and no printer face or anything just the display and a little bit of code editing enjoy